way to her, through the hands, oh, it's Will Sharp! What a flick up from Thomas Mintz! Mayer Tua gets the ball out to him, he doesn't take it in and he flicks it on to Will Sharp. Rooney May Tua, um, back with 16, Featherstone 23, what's your first thoughts on the championship? Yeah, it was a tough game, um, you know, obviously we, we let in a few tries early, so, um, you know, we knew we had a... a a bit of a challenge, obviously being down by 14 or 16 points at half time. Uh, the boys dug deep and it was a great win in the end. A try on your debut was off for you going down the slope. You must be pleased to get a, a score so early. Yeah, it's easier to score a try when you're running downhill. Uh, there's quite a slant here. So, um, you know, I didn't have to do too much. You know, the boys set up the platform and fortunate, fortunately enough, I was in the right position to get the ball and, and score a try. So I'm happy. What did Andy say to you at half time as a team? 14 0 down you were to it was a big turnaround in the second half. Yeah, you know, he uh, really got stuck into us. You know, completion rate was was quite poor and um, obviously you can't win the ball you can't win the game without the ball. Uh, we were doing some good things but you know, far too many errors and he got stuck into us and we knew what we needed to do in the second half. We didn't start well, but once we got the processes in place, we now are a good side and we put points on so Whatever, you know, everything that Andy has said to us all week um, and at half time has worked. How are you settling into the team as a group? You come over, obviously, you were here for the match on Monday, but you didn't play. So, how, how are you feeling you settled in? Yeah, I'm settling in well. Um, I'm really, you know, the boys have really taken me in well. I, it's a long way from home. Um, I grew up uh, right next to a beach, so this is a lot colder than what I'm used to. The first five days were nice, but uh, the last couple of days have been quite cold. and. Um, you know, I'm settling well and you know, I just take each day as it comes. It's a new challenge for me. Uh, I'm looking forward to the rest of the year and um, you know, meeting, new places, uh, meeting new people and going new places. What's your experience of the championship over here? Have you heard anything about it over in Australia? Uh, unfortunately not. Um, you know, with the time difference and everything, I, just, I, didn't, I don't know much about the championship. And you know, I caught up a little bit on Super League. I was fortunate enough to play over here against Leeds. 10 years ago now in the World Club Challenge. Um, so, yeah, I don't know too much about it. I, I, I'm quickly getting introduced to it. You know, there's a few few uh, big boys in this competition and, you know, I really enjoyed the game. It probably wasn't the best game to watch, but it was a good hard-fought uh, hard win and, um, yeah, I'm really excited about the next the next couple, the rest of the year. What are your hopes and expectations for this year? Do you, want, do you think this is a team capable of getting in the top four? Absolutely, you know, that's what we play for. We, we all want to be in the top four and that's what we aspire to. Um, we didn't play too well last Monday. Uh, we, we definitely uh, played well in just patches. We played well in patches um, today, so we know we can improve and that's the best thing about this side is that we can improve so much more and compete with these top teams. So we just build from that win. Um, we go to Wales next week and we just hopefully just keep winning. What can you bring to this team? Uh, you know, I just I, I just bring my experience. I think um, it's uh, been in the NRL a long time, but for me, it's learning the way that the boys play over here as well. It's a lot different to NRL, and, and so you know, I can bring some of my experiences, but I'm learning from the other boys as well. So uh, that's what I can bring at the moment. Um, obviously, uh, it's around eight or nine. I'm not too sure. I need to uh, get a little bit fitter. You know. Uh, cert certainly was struggling through periods of that game, so I can only build from that and hopefully get better. Randy, thanks very much. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Andy, a real game of two halves. 14 nil down at half-time, but then 23 points in the second half. Yeah, we uh, you know, we didn't design it like that, but I thought in the first half, even though we let the three tries in, some of our defence up in their end of the field was, was outstanding and forcing them to kick uh, from deep. But unfortunately, when they did get into our end, they, uh, they scored three easy tries, which you know, was very disappointing in our goal line defence. and Some of our urgency on the on the try line as well. We, we talked about their hookers jumping and the scored one off the hooker. And I thought the, the last try uh, before half-time, a little bit of lack of urgency from us. Ben Blackmore come up with a decent tackle and they threw the ball inside and they had two players going for it. We had none, so... You know, um, we had uh, a lot to do at half time, but we had the, the slope in our favour in the second half, the wind in our favour, and you know, that first half was pretty tough for the boys to get out of the bottom end. What did you say to the boys at half time? Obviously, a big team talk it was for yourself and also for the team to try and turn it round. Yeah, well, we uh, you know we talked about what we needed to be doing. We're not we're not completing sets, and we didn't complete sets in the first half. Again, we were about sixty percent, and 
it makes it very difficult. And no matter who you're playing against, and, and Batley are a good side. So when you're playing against a good side, you're going to make it tough, and, and your defence can't keep holding teams out. So we talked about that, um, and we set off in the second half. I thought, kick the shot, kick the shot, kick off, and, and, and ended up giving penalties away, and not completing our first four sets. And shot ourselves in the foot again but eventually we got in the game and we built and, and we completed the next the next 15 play uh, next 15 sets apart from one and that's where the points came from so you know we, we we've been under a lot of pressure as a team as a group uh, you know there's a lot of pressure on the on the system this year and on the league and everything else and the players need some confidence and I think that second half will give them it Renway tour on debut played very well and also got a try on his debut I've been very pleased with him yeah, I think he, uh, you know, he was he was good in the first half for us. He uh, made a great break up that left edge and tipped on to Minzy, and he couldn't hold the ball, and that would have been a dead set try. So, uh, you know, he, he had a real good start for us. You know, obviously, uh, we brought him off, give him a blow. He's he's not played for a long time. That's his first competitive match, and uh, you know, he had a he had a good game for us and proved you know, why we've been waiting for so long for him and why we want to bring him in and scored a try on his debut and uh, and probably set one up in the second half again with some good skill. So, you know, it's uh, it's been a long time coming, but I think he's paid some back already. And uh, James Mendica was named in the 19, but didn't make the 17. Yeah, he's uh, he's he's uh, close to being there. He was uh, he was close to selection. I thought Jai, he's been going well for us at full-back again. Kick returns was outstanding and getting some real good field position. And... Um, and the centre position for Mendy, um, we give Ardo another go, and Thomas Mins came in, and you know uh, Mendy just missed out, so he's uh, disappointed like you'd expect. But there's an opportunity for him next week now. So you must be very pleased with the form of the back three, especially Blackmore. Over the past two or three weeks has been superb, especially since Dewsbury and uh, Jai and Will Sharp as well. Yeah, I think you know this game. I thought the forwards had a bit more of a crack and got some ball in the hand, and Jordan Baldenson was great again. So. You know, Sharpie, Jay and, and uh, Blackie probably didn't do as much work as they have done in the last two games, but you know, they're still bringing the ball back very well for us. They look, they look a threat. And this pitch was very soft today, and you know, Jay and made a couple of half breaks, and on a on a dry field, I think we're going to see him you know, perform very well for us. But we've got options in there, and, and like you say, with Mendy being available, so uh, they've got to play well, haven't they? Just how pleased are you with the form of the front three? You've mentioned. Um Obviously, Rovers front three. You've also got Andy Bostock making his hundredth appearance as well today. Yeah, we were uh, John Baldwinson outstanding again, and uh, I thought him and Bozzy played very well together. We were we were lighting the forwards today. Um, Jack Bussey came off the bench as a front rower for us. Uh, Spears obviously in the middle, and we put Foss, Alex Foster in the middle and Mason Tonks in the middle, which they haven't played a hell of a lot of front row. So. Um, I thought they had a real good dig for us in that period, but just before half time and after half time, and we, we rotated again. We brought Baldy off for a quick rest and put him back out there, and he played probably 70 minutes, 72 minutes or something. Um, but the front row were going really well, and you know, we just need some troop back, troops back. We lost Jamesy today through injury and Woody through injury, and I thought the guys who the guys who did play stood up, and you know it was a, a big pack they were facing there. They've got some big guys in in the Batley team, and you know, they uh, put us under a fair bit of pressure. Difficult spell for Rovers, especially at home. You've gone through, had some difficult results home and a lot of pressure from the fans as well, on both on yourself and the players. What would you say to the fans? Like I said last week, just stick with us. You know, the first half, not how we wanted it to go, but we knew uh, we knew it was going to be tough. We went uphill in the first half. The wind was against us, and we had to have a dig. And we didn't really control the ball in there in the right areas of the field, which you know give them opportunities to score. Uh, I thought coming in at half time at 14-0 uh, wasn't wasn't that big a deficit and neither did the players. Uh, you know, we knew if we came out with the ball and put some attack together and kept defending like we had done uh, in their end of the field, we'd be all right and I think we were. Um, you know, so the message to the fans is stick with us. You know, if you come into uh, the Challenge Cup game, stick by us and, and when we get home we'll, we'll be uh, hopefully in some form and we can get our first win at home. Next week sees a break from the Championship a trip to Wales in the Challenge Cup. It's a different type of challenge for you. Yeah, they, uh, you know, we played them last year. They've, they've got a very similar side. Um, I'm not sure they've played today, but I'm not sure what they've done. But they've got a very similar side to last year, so we know what to expect a little bit. Um, it's going to be a tough trip. It's a, it's a long trip away, and we've got Whitehaven a long trip away the week after. But we've, we've just come off the big, tough Easter period. 
we're freshening the boys up throughout the Easter period and you know, we're going back into doing some hard work now uh, you know, and preparing for the Challenge Cup. It's a different week, it's got a different feel and uh, it's a great competition to still be in. Are you looking at? Are you looking to change much around next week for the Challenge Cup? Get some of the players who have been in there a rest. Yeah, possibly. You know, I don't want to change too much. We've we've had to change a lot of things anyway, and we've been forced to a lot of changes. And Sam Owens took a knock today, so I'm not sure how he'll be. Um, uh, Remy was sick today. He's had he's had flu the last couple of days, so you know, there might be some changes. Uh, we, we're going to have a look at the video. We'll have a look at the players in the group and. You know, we we need to stick by players who are performing, and if players aren't performing, well then, you know, we'll uh, they'll come under scrutiny. But you know, the, I thought the boys in the second half, especially, had a real good go, and um, we'll see what happens during the week, and you know, we'll have a team ready for North Wales. Any other injury news? Uh, not yet. No, the doctor's gone, and he said everybody's fine. It was just somewhere when we've got a concern over, so we'll have to have him checked over tomorrow. Uh, Paul Woods, uh, Paul Woods, broken a bone in his foot, uh, so he's going to be four to six weeks. Uh, speaking to him last night, he's he's keen to just get back in four weeks. So we've we've, we've got to have a look at him, get the right um, recovery protocol in place, and uh, make sure he's not pushing himself too hard because the, these injuries can drag on. And um, you know, you, you try and break the back of him early, and it, it doesn't do any good. So hopefully it'll be four weeks at the worst six, and and you know we'll miss him, but he'll be ready to go when he comes back. Uh, with Matty James, he's got a, a whack to his elbow last week. He, he went down in a collision and hyperextended his elbow. So it's more soft tissue than anything else. And you know, when he's uh, when he's able to play, when he can handle the pain, he, he'll he'll be back in contention.